Hi, this is Munson with Munson Jam Tracks, and we're gonna talk a little bit about how you could use Munson Jam Tracks to kind of say some things with your instrument, whatever it happens to be, and how you can transpose pretty easily, I guess, to other keys, or at least try to. So we're gonna start off with kind of a C major groove, actually, and, and this is kind of cool. I've got a lot of videos on how you would solo over, over major stuff. So you could use kind of the notes of the chord. Actually, we're gonna work with a C major chord. You know that for the guitar, and then we'll kind of look at it on other instruments. So we're gonna start off with kind of that C, E, and G idea. So just those particular notes, and I've, I've pulled up a jazz jam track, actually, from, from Munson Jam Tracks, and I work in a C major seven kind of groove. And so you can kind of use just those notes of the scale or of the chord to get some cool sounds going over over that chord. Or you can use a major scale, kind of do re mi fa sol la ti do for C, kind of your natural notes, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and C. scales you could use kind of an A minor C major pentatonic scale. The kind of pattern one from fifth fret. Kind of five eight, five seven, five seven, five seven, five eight, five eight. Five, to make up words and say stuff with your instrument. On the piano, a C major chord is C, E's, and G notes. And in this particular case, with this particular game, actually, I'm adding in a B note, which is a major seven, kind of C, E, G, and B, or root three, five, seven, for that chord. So you could even use just little pieces of that chord. To kind of say some stuff over that jam. Or you could use some major scale, just so kind of the C major scale, all the white keys. Now, there's lots of other possibilities here too. Actually, you, you could even take an idea of, of doing the B to C as a lead, maybe a half step below the E as a lead into that note of the chord, F sharp as a lead to the G. And then maybe even kind of working back to that B, C. So you don't necessarily have to keep it in the scale, but it can be kind of cool to work it. Because the main thing is to point to those notes of the chord. So even working it from above as a lead can be cool too. chord jam and we're talking about scales and chords, you don't necessarily have to keep it there if you didn't want to. And there's ways to get all these notes, all the whole chromatic scale to work. It's just kind of how you're pointing to the notes of the chord, because these guys are going to sound more important than everybody else. Now for other instruments, if you're playing other string instruments, it can be cool just to practice just your C major chord. So let's take a look at what that would look like on some chord instruments. So on the mandolin, your basic C major chord is putting first finger on, on the D string on the second fret, second finger on the A string on the third fret. So I can even make up rhythms around this groove and work some chord stuff around it. Or you may even kind of gravitate towards a C major scale, kind of that C, D, E, F, G, 
A, B, C, and then if you kept it going, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. sound really good. Kind of make up some stuff around that chord. Alright, let's look at it on banjo. So your basic C chord on banjo is first finger on the second string on the first fret, second finger on the fourth string on the second fret, third finger on the other D string, first string. It's kind of a C group. And if you know roll patterns for the banjo, you can kind of try and find a groove that would work for a roll pattern that you know. Lots of other C chords on the banjo too. You can do a bar on fifth fret, and that's another C chord. So you can work a groove or roll pattern around that. Or another one would be going all the way to eighth fret on the second string, nine on the on the third fret, uh, string, third finger on the fourth string on the tenth fret, pinky on the first string on the tenth fret. It's kind of another little C chord. So it might be kind of cool to work some roll patterns around the chord or make up some rhythm that's just like mandolin, or you can even follow the scale. Kind of that C, and then D, E, F, G, A, B, C. It's going to be kind of cool, like little note find exercise to take a jam track and look at what notes are there and then try and find those notes on your instrument. But well, let's take a look at what it would look like on violin. So on the violin we can do that same kind of thing, finding that C note and the D and the E and the F and the G and the A and the B and the C. Kind of working major scale ideas. Idea. Or you could even take just those notes of the chord, the C, E, and G. And kind of work just those notes of the chord. So getting that B and C in there too. Let's take a look at what it would look like on uh, ukulele. So on ukulele, your, your third fret on the first string actually is your C chord, actually. Just kind of playing that with the open strings. So you can play around with, with rhythm ideas for the C chord. Or I'm kind of throwing in that B note on the first string. Kind of moving around the chord a little bit. Or you can work the C major scale. notes of that chord or the notes of the scale. But let's take a look at what it would look like on some instruments actually that, that aren't too pitched. These are all concert pitch instruments. So when I play a C note on the ukulele, it's really a C note. But there are a couple instruments, especially winds, that do something called transposition. So let's take a look at those. Now your typical trumpet is a B flat major instrument, which means when it plays a C note, it actually sounds a B flat, which is a little weird. There's a lot of music history behind that. But if I just try and play a C major scale to this, it's just not gonna, gonna sound right. Um, so what you have to do is think up a whole step or two half steps to, to get there. So if I want to play a C major, a real C major, on a B flat major trumpet, what I have to do is think up C to C sharp, C sharp to D. So C to D is a whole step. So I have to actually think a D major scale to get that to work. You got a little 
little chart on your screen that tells you what major scale to really play if you're playing B-flat trumpet. That would also go for B-flat clarinet or any other B-flat instrument. If, if you play tenor sax or if you play uh, so there's other B-flat major instruments out there, soprano sax. But um, let's take a look at what it would look like on a saxophone. Now on saxophone, and this is an alto saxophone, it's keyed in E-flat, which means when I play a C note, it actually sounds an E-flat note. So if I actually tried to play just a C major scale over the top of this C major groove, So what I actually have to do is kind of do the same kind of thought process that I did with, with the trumpet. But now when I play a C note, I actually sound an E flat note. So what that would be a difference of is kind of three half steps, kind of C to C sharp, C sharp to D, D, D to D sharp, kind of the E flat, so, so three half steps. So this is a little weird. Um, so if, if we've got, a, instead of a C major scale, I have to kind of think down three half steps. So I have to go C to B, B to B flat, B flat to A. So if I think of an A major scale on the alto sax, then that works over a C major groove. We have to kind of play around with that a little bit. Now, Another instrument that you may play is horn or mellophone, which is keyed in F. So we have an, let's take a look at what that would look like. So this is my, my fugal horn in F, and if I played a C major groove over this, it's going to sound a little bit off. Kind of. So what I actually have to do with this particular instrument, when I play a C, it sounds an F. So that's going up C, D, E, F. So if I want to play a, a C, I have to think backwards. C, B, and then a G. So I have to play a G major scale. I'm going to jam over the top of it. Now most instruments are going to be concert pitch, but just to go over those those three, you've got B flat instruments, E flat instruments, and F instruments. Now the B flat, another way to think about this actually, going back to the trumpet, we'll be thinking about key signatures. Now when we play a C note on the, the trumpet, it actually sounds a B flat uh, major scale. So what we could think about is the key of B-flat majors, B-flats and E-flats. So it's almost as if this horn has two flats stuck in the horn. When I play a C major scale on the trumpet, it sounds a B-flat major scale. So what that is is a difference of two flats. So B-flat major scale has B-flat and E-flat in it. B-flat, C, D-flat, D, E-flat, F, G, A, B-flat. So what I could think about to play over this too is another way to think about it is C majors, no flats, no sharps. If I want to play in the key of C on the trumpet, I have to add two sharps to cancel out two flats stuck in this horn kind of for the B flat major. So for C, no flats, no sharps, I have to add two sharps to that key. And if I do that, then I'm in D major. So I can just go, okay, well, C major, okay, I got two flats stuck in the horn. I got to add two sharps to cancel them out. that with the D major. So if we're in a different key, like if we were in the key of G major for instance, if we're in the key of G major instead of C major, now we have to think, okay, well G major's got one sharp, so, and I've got two flats stuck in the horn, so I have to add two more sharps to cancel out the two flats. So the key with three sharps, F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, would be the key of A major. So if you want to jam over G on a B flat trumpet, you have to think kind of uh, through the uh, work in the A major. So that can be a little weird, especially if you're, you know, you're not used to transposition, but you kind of think about it in the relationship to keys. So for the saxophone, for instance, we want to jam over a G major scale. With, with the saxophone, we've got three flats in the horn, so that, that's a little weird. We're kind of keyed in the E flat major. So now we've got one sharp in the key, G major, and then what we'll have to do is add another three sharps to cancel out the three flats that are in the horn. So we've got to think E major. That can be a little weird. And if we're going to do it on our F horn, so now my, my horn actually has one flat stuck in it for the key, because I'm an F horn, so i got F, G, A, B flat, C, D, E, F. 
my F major scale, I want to get to the key of G major with one sharp. So I have to add another sharp to cancel out the one that the flat that's in my horn. So now I have to think D major. <laughs> kind of moving between the keys. with Munson Music and I, I hope you kind of find some things on jam tracks that you can kind of jam out on your instrument at the end of the day and kind of see what you can say with your instrument and kind of thinking about scales more as alphabets and chords more as words kind of as a, as a concept. So best of luck and thanks for watching Munson Jam Tracks.